Hello everyone, welcome back to another KSP video, sort of, very quick thing to rattle off, I've been a bit ill this week and um, so I haven't really had enough time to make a wholly original Kerbal Space Program video this week and in point of time, my voice isn't quite there as well. What can I say, I guess I'm just recovering from having to open KSP2 to record last week's video. <laughs> but, like I'm sure many of you, I, I really dislike how the YouTube recommended videos algorithm thing is now recently heavily pushing member exclusive videos and I've noticed it pushes quite a lot of my members member exclusive videos to me, and therefore I'm guessing also to you. Which is a shame, as I would rather the algorithm show videos to you that I made for everyone to watch, and keep the members stuff mostly hidden, except to, you know, members. So like a lot of creators, like Linus Tech Tips, I will no longer be using the members only feature of YouTube, except perhaps in exceptional circumstances, like if I need to completely redo a video last minute and it's already been uploaded, ready to be published, I'll just release the original early for members and pin a comment explaining things like I did for a KSP2 video once. Uh, but I don't want to seem like I'm paywalling a massive chunk of my content because I'm not. Uh, if you are a YouTube member, you will still get ad-free exclusive videos, but they will be in the form of posts on my kind of channels page to turn on notifications, and when I post to members, it will have like a link to an unlisted video, and that's how members' videos will work going forward. Um, now, one particular members-only video that I've had recommended to me a lot, and therefore you may have had the same, is my Mr. Overflow to SSTO video. It was a video idea that didn't really work, so I just used the footage I had to make a video for members, and now, after almost three years, YouTube is now suddenly really pushing it to non-members, like it is with a lot of other channels' as members' content. So I'm now going to finish up my recording here, <laughs> rest my voice, and let you all watch that video yourself. So no more FOMO. Please enjoy this thing that YouTube really, really wants you to pay for. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a Patreon and YouTube channel membership scheme exclusive video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this video assuming that you've seen my most recent public Kerbal Space Program video, which for uh, me right now is the uh, air-launched fully reusable shuttle system that would have been uploaded on the... Uh, it's Wednesday for me, my dudes, um, on the 1st of February, so it'd be the Saturday the 4th of February. Uh, that's when that video went live, so there you go, now you've got a point of reference. And in that video I said, you know, I, I tried to build a an SSTO in the style of Mr. Overfloater to really showcase Black Rack's uh, Volumetric Clouds mod. And in that video I said, like, look, I put a lot of effort into this SSTO and I really liked how it came out aesthetically, but it just didn't work and that was a real shame. And I'd really like to be able to show it off in some form or another with the general audience. And then here we are. I thought I'd give some incentive to you know, continue supporting this channel on Patreon or Channel Membership Scheme because I realised that, like, I don't really give that many benefits to my Patreon or YouTube channel membership scheme. I probably shouldn't be saying that if I want to retain donate do, uh, donors. But I've also, like, I'm more conscious that I don't really want to divide my audience up based on disposable income. So that's kind of the, the, the catch-22 of the situation. Like, I want to encourage it, but I also... I, 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 I've, I've been the viewer that doesn't have enough money to support people on Patreon before, so I, I get it. I, so I, that's why I don't like giving that many incentives to donate on Patreon. And that's why I'm eternally grateful for the guys that are, you guys that are here, you know, still here. You know, like, you guys are the MVPs, the pog champs. Both of those terms are probably massively out of date now, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, here is the craft here, by the way. Didn't really talk about it at all, but yeah, it flew horribly. Here's a clip of me here trying to take off. As you can see, it accelerates on the runway rather promisingly, but then we get to the end, it just like literally just nosedived immediately. So I thought, okay, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's add some front canards. That would surely help us get up into the air. But as you can see, once again, uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, kind of like kind of nosedive, but sort of it's like, uh, something's clearly amiss here. So let's go back to the drawing board of the Space Blade Hagger once again and add some more elevons to the back of the ship. It also dawned on me that perhaps my problem is I don't have enough boosters or thrust. I, well, actually, that's both, isn't it? So I decided to add this SRB on the bottom of the craft as well, just to really accelerate us nice and quickly on the runway. Don't worry, the SRB will be recoverable. This is a fully reusable craft after all. Uh, so I added some wheels to the SRB, and then when it runs out of fuel, we can just detach it, and it can... Uh, wheel away safely. That didn't happen though in the end. It just exploded. So, oops. But the, 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 the thought was there, guys. 
And as you can see, this iteration of the craft does do somewhat better. It doesn't immediately slam nose first into the ground, but still, I couldn't get it to pitch up very... I couldn't get... Well, that was it. I could not get it to pitch up, and we ended up splashing down in the ocean. So though I successfully built an SSTO in the sense that I built a single stage to ocean. Pretty sure no one's ever made that joke before ever. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the space plane hangar once again and add more boosters. This time we'll add some whiplash engines to the... Uh, the outskirts of the engine bay and see if that extra thrust will help things along. I mean, I guess, spoiler alert, you guys know that I never made this craft into its own dedicated video, so you know that none of these changes or upgrades or whatever actually end up working, but you, you still, you can see the, you can see the process, and I've got a lot of projects like this that just never ended up becoming a video. Maybe I can now use Patreon and my YouTube channel membership program to funnel all of the failed content. I'm really not selling my uh, my paid support schemes, am I? Uh, but yeah, this I think this is pretty much the final version of this craft. Like, I can control it thanks to those reaction wheels. But the second I take my fingers off the WASD keys, it just immediately wants to nosedive straight down. Like, this is me leaving it well alone. Well, actually, okay, maybe not that. Yeah, yeah, see how it just, like, goes around in circles? I'm not touching a key on the keyboard when it just runs around in circles there. That's just, uh how the craft acts and behaves. And, uh, well, that's the end of the video, in fact. <laughs>